Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch this phone burner quick training. My name is Jeff Osnes, and I'm going to be your host, your tour guide. And if you have any questions, by all means, feel free to reach out to me. My email address is jeff at phoneburner.com. And on this particular training, I'm going to show you how to integrate your phone burner account with the HubSpot CRM. So let's dive into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a phone burner account. Once you've created your phone burner account, you'll go ahead and log in to phone burner. Once logged in, in the upper right hand corner, you're going to click on the menu. In the menu, you're going to go down to the integration settings option. On the integrations page, you're going to go down to the HubSpot section and you're going to click on details. From here, you're going to click on the connect HubSpot button. At that point, you'll be prompted to log into your HubSpot account. After you log into your HubSpot account, you're going to be taken to this HubSpot accounts page where you should see your account name listed here. You're going to click on this open button right here. You're going to have to mouse over it. You're not going to see it unless you mouse over it. But once you mouse over it, you'll click on this open button, which will then take you through the final confirmation. So we'll click on that. You'll see the integration is accepted and now we are linked. And it also looks different than it did before. If you ever need to disconnect your HubSpot account from PhoneBurner, you just click on the unlink button right here. Now you'll notice this activate integration button. We're not going to click that right away. We're going to leave that alone for right now because there's some additional work that I recommend that you do before you completely activate the integration. So let's go down here to the bottom where you see the My Team Owners section. This will show you a list of all of the phone burner members. So here I have two phone burner members. To the right of that, I have my HubSpot Owner section that will show me a menu of all of the owners or accounts that I've created on the HubSpot system. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Heather. So all of the data that's owned by Heather should be synced over to Heather's phone burner account. Now the next option is the import contacts into folder option. I need to tell the system what folder on the phone burner system is going to receive the data that comes from HubSpot. So I've created a HubSpot data folder. I'm going to go ahead and select that. So what does that mean? That means any record that's owned by Heather in HubSpot will be synced to phone burner into the Heather Osnes phone burner account and will be put into the HubSpot data folder. So we're going to do the same thing for Jeff. I've got Jeff as an owner, and I'm going to put the data into the HubSpot data folder. Once I've connected the members in HubSpot and Phone Burner, I now want to take a look at the Map Field section. On the Map Field section, you're going to see the HubSpot fields or properties and the Phone Burner fields that you can link together so data from HubSpot can be brought over to specific fields in Phone Burner. And there are several fields that are already pre-mapped for you. Now there may be some additional fields or properties that you want to bring over from HubSpot into the Phone Burner system. And to do that, you'll click on the drop-down menu right here where it says Choose HubSpot Property. And you'll see a list of all of the properties that you have access to in HubSpot. I've got a couple properties that I'm going to map over. I've got this one called Ready to Go. And to the right of that, I'm going to click on the phone burner field and choose my Ready to Go custom field. Then I'm going to click on this Add Mapping. That'll give me an option to add an additional HubSpot property. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to map over Job Title. Click on the menu here. And I'm going to link that to the phone burner field called Title. I'm going to add another mapping. Choose HubSpot property. And in this case, I'm going to choose the PB to HubSpot comments. And on the phone burner side, the comments field in phone burner. Once I've mapped all the fields that I care about, I'm going to click on the Save New Fields button. That's going to get everything added to my integration. I'll be taken back to the My Team Owner section. If I want to review this, I can go back to the My Field section and make sure that everything is locked in. Now that I've confirmed that I have all of the mapping figured out for both the users and the properties, we're now ready to activate the integration. So I'm going to click on the Activate Integration button. At this point, HubSpot and Phone Burner will start talking to each other and sharing data. 
Okay, so now that we have the two accounts linked and data is syncing, let's go take a look at that data in PhoneBurner. So we're going to click on the Contacts tab. Once here, we're going to click on HubSpot data. We should see the contact data pulling over from HubSpot. Let's start making some calls. Let's go ahead and select some records. Hit the Begin Dial Session button. All right, so now we're ready to start dialing. We hit Start Dialing, and the system is going to start calling through those records that we've selected. Let's say we're calling Michael Sample. He does an answer, so it goes to voicemail. We click the voicemail button. We move on to the next call. So now we're calling Mr. Owner Change or Mr. Changer or whatever, right? Uh, let's say he doesn't answer. We hit the no answer button, move on to the next record. Now we're calling George Sample. He answers the phone. We have a conversation with him like we would anyone else. No pause, no delays, no awkward silence. Hit live answer. End the call when we're done talking to him. Let's say he's ready to go, so we type in yes. Let's say we find out his title is support manager, and we have a few comments to add regarding George. Now that we've made all the updates, we click on our disposition. Let's say he was interested, and we're off to the next call. Now we're calling Mr. Company Phone Osnes. Let's say it's a no answer, so we hit the no answer button. He's got two phone numbers, so it immediately moved on to the next number. I'm going to mark this one as no answer as well and move on to the next call. Let's say this one answer, so we hit live answer and the call. As you can see, we can easily move from one call to the next using the power of phone burner. We can update records as needed. Because we've linked these specific custom fields between the two systems, the data will start syncing back and forth. So let's go ahead and end this session. Here you can see we just saved 10 minutes doing those phone calls using the power of phone burner. We made six calls, talked to two people, shot off three emails, and left a single voicemail. We're done with that, but let's jump over to HubSpot and let's see what's been updated over there. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Should still be logged in from when I synced everything together, right? And then I'm going to go to my contacts. And if we look closely over at the right-hand side here in the last activity, you're going to see that several contacts have had activity today. And if we look at those contacts names, you'll notice that they look oddly familiar. These are the ones that we had just called using the phone burner system. Now let's take our contact George Sample. He's the one that we connected with and he was ready to go. We updated his title and all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and click on his name to open up his details in HubSpot. You can see that that call was automatically logged in HubSpot. Now on the left hand side about this contact you can see ready to go has been updated to yes. His job title has been updated to support manager. And the PB to HubSpot comments that we put in there, nice guy, has been with the company two years, has been updated as well. Now, in this particular case, we did not have PhoneBurner send an email to George Sample, but if we go back to our list of contacts, one of our records, Michael Sample, we did leave a voicemail with him, and the system triggered an email to go to Michael Sample. Both activities will automatically be logged within that record in HubSpot. And there you go. That's how easy it is for you to integrate your phone burner account with HubSpot. If you've not set up a phone burner account, you need to go to phoneburner.com right now and set up your free trial so you can start getting more done with less time using the power of phone burner. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video. I wish you the best and happy dialing.